The official word today on the death of Robin Williams. Authorities confirmed that he hanged himself and cut his wrists. It's a sad and dark view of a personality often associated with gifted talent and laughter. But Robin Williams had a struggle with depression. His death leaves an important message for all of us. Sending your sides, Anita Blanton has been researching the resources to help people in Hampton Roads. Anita? Tom, sometimes it takes a tragedy to open up a dialogue about a difficult topic. Although we may often speak and hear of homicides, statistics show there are almost twice as many suicides. And the number one cause of suicide is untreated depression, which is so frequently masked by substance abuse that Robin Williams battled for years. From blockbuster roles in some of the most popular TV sitcoms and movies on the big screen to performing tear-jerking stand-up comedy at sold-out venues like Chrysler Hall. The show was very funny. It, it, he did a whole show on his whole career from start to finish. Robin Williams was a star revered by millions. Hampton Roads was one of his last shows on what has now become one of his last tours. One fan tweeted us his ticket stub and said the performance was inspiring. But despite this unforgettable smile and the jokes that warmed our hearts, Robin Williams was open about the demons that tormented his. We talked about his alcoholism, his drug, his rehab and how he slipped and fell and went back into it. I talked about that battle shared by so many with psychotherapist Chris Gilchrist today. I was stunned, I'm sure, like everyone. But when I got, heard more information, background-wise, then it's not altogether surprising for me. The pieces were there. She formed a Survivors of Suicide support group, and they host an out-of-the-darkness prevention walk each year. She also told me about other resources available to you, community service boards that have mental health support, military one source, civilian resources for dependents, Catholic charities, and more. Even Robin Williams on the outside, look how he could present as the entertainer. Yet in some ways, depression, severe depression, isolates you. We all play starring roles somewhere with far too many people who care to deal with depression alone. If you or someone you love is in crisis, you can always call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at the number right here on your screen. We'll put this and a link to more information on wavy.com. And if you want to raise awareness, the 2014 Out of Darkness Community Walk is happening in Virginia Beach. It's on September 6th at 8.30 in the morning. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side. And